Hello everyone, my name is Julian from Adobe. Today I'm going to talk about the power of connectors in Adobe Experience Platform. Before we look into Adobe technology, let's use a simple example to better understand why we need connectors. Just recently, a good friend of mine who has practiced electrician for many years has helped me installing the electronics in my garden so we can power lights on the driveway and in the garden beds. Yeah, I wish it would look like this already. However, to accomplish this, many cables needed to be connected so electricity can flow to where it was needed. We used a waterproof box in which we connected the cables. Usually, there is one main cable which supplies the power and then there are other cables that need to be connected. The main cable is the source of electricity and then we applied little connectors, as you can see on this image, to connect the cables so that electricity can flow to other destinations. The connectors allow to easily integrate the source of electricity, combine it with other cables and allow the electricity to flow to its destinations. Similarly, Adobe Experience Platform provides connectors for sources and destinations. Let's talk about sources first. Adobe Experience Platform allows data to be ingested from external sources while providing you with the ability to structure, label and enhance incoming data using platform services you can ingest data from a variety of sources such as Adobe applications, cloud-based storage, third-party software and your CRM. Experience Platform provides a RESTful API and an interactive UI that lets you set up source connections to various data providers with ease. The source connections enable you to authenticate your storage systems and CRM services, set times for ingestion runs, manage data ingestion throughput. Next, let's see where to find source connectors in Adobe Experience Platform. In the Platform UI, select Sources from the left navigation bar to access the Sources workspace. The catalog screen displays a variety of sources for which you can create an account with. Let's scroll through the connectors to see which are available out of the box. As you can see, there are connectors for Adobe applications, cloud storages, CRM systems, databases and many more. Let's assume we would like to set up a connector for Amazon S3. Under the Cloud Storage category, select Amazon S3. To connect to Amazon S3, you need to provide an account name and your credentials to establish the connection. Once you have set up the connector, you need to configure a data flow to ingest batch data from Amazon S3. The Add Data step appears, providing an interface for you to explore your cloud storage file hierarchy and select the folder or specific file that you want to bring to platform. After selecting the dataset, the mapping step appears, providing you with an interface to map the source fields from your source schema to the appropriate target schema, XDM fields in the target schema. Set some preferences on scheduling, review the steps and click finish. Voila, that's how you set up a source connector. Let's talk about destinations. Destinations are pre-built integrations with destination platforms that allow for the seamless activation of data from Adobe Experience Platform. You can use destinations to activate your known and unknown data for cross-channel marketing campaigns, email campaigns, targeted advertising and many other use cases. In Adobe Experience Platform, select destinations from the left navigation bar to access the destinations workspace. The Catalog tab displays a list of all destinations available in Platform that you can send data to. Let's see which connectors are available out of the box. Let's look at the DV360 connector. Like sources, we need to authenticate to the connector by providing some credentials. Once that is complete, we choose our destination, which had been set up already in our case here. With destinations, we want to activate segments so let's select a segment here. We can schedule when the activation of the segment should start or end if that's needed. On the next page, we see a review of the settings. By clicking Finish, the segment will be shared to DV360. That's how simple segment activation is in Adobe Experience Platform. Now we have learned what connectors are. Have fun exploring them in Adobe Experience Platform. Mm -hmm.